how can heterogeneous waste be analyzed and characterized? Not all waste is the same. Its composition, for example, depends on the season or from the region it occurs in. In order to find out how the recycling rate can be improved or how to lower the risk during the treatment process, waste has to be sorted four times per year. Waste analysis is also essential for the correct design of waste treatment plants. Residual waste is composed of different fractions. To determine these, waste has to be sorted. A manual sorting is more precise than mechanical separation and hence preferable. Waste sorting is part of the education of the Institute for Waste Management and Circular Economy of the TU Dresden. For this task, a waste management company delivered two tons of residual waste. Laboratory work and experiments with waste requires protective clothing and work skills. Before starting the sorting, make sure that you have sufficient knowledge and can ensure occupational safety. To compare the results of the waste sorting within Saxony, a standardized classification system was determined to prevent differences. The waste cadaster of the Free State of Saxony defines three levels of differentiation. The following comprehensive example of the organic fraction shows the increasing detail per level. The sorting at the TU Dresden was carried out according to the first level of differentiation. When waste is not separated according to its content, but its grain size, specialists speak about classification instead of sorting. For this, sorting tables have grids where the waste of a certain corn size falls through. The middle and fine fractions are not sorted according to their material, but make up their own fraction. The middle fraction will be sorted once after enough material has been gathered. Afterwards, it will just be put aside as its own fraction, like the fine material. In mechanical biological treatment plants, residual waste is shredded often to a smaller grain size. In order to reduce the energy required for this, it can make sense to separate waste with smaller grain size beforehand, for example with a drum screen. This is a model of a drum screen, which classifies according to a grain size smaller and larger than 80 mm. The middle fraction, with a grain size smaller 80 mm, is shredded and composted to simulate the composting process in a mechanical biological treatment plant. Sampling should be as unbiased as possible to take a representative sample. Instead of selecting dominant or interesting waste components, the material should be taken value-free from the waste pile. The sample is then distributed over the entire surface of the table and sorted. Here, the waste should be not be forced through the sieve grids, otherwise the result will be influenced. If there is any uncertainty in which category a substance belongs, both experts and the waste cadaster can be consulted. By means of a magnet, substances containing metals can be distinguished by their properties, such as iron, cobalt, nickel or ferromagnetic alloys. As soon as sufficient waste material has accumulated, its weight is determined. The empty weight of the container must be taken into account. The percentage of the respective fractions of the total weight is then determined from the obtained rough data. The sorting of one ton of waste is a good statistical sample size. The taken sample is further characterized in the laboratory according to its physical, chemical and biological parameters. Waste has a heterogeneous composition. Therefore, a sample must be taken using the cooning and quartering method. 
for this, waste is mixed as well as possible and then divided into four equal parts. Two randomly chosen opposite pairs are discarded while the other pairs mixed again. This process is repeated until the required sample quantity is acquired. Errors can occur in the laboratory despite clean working methods, making it necessary to repeat the experiments. For this reason, a reserve sample should be taken. A part of the taken samples is placed in the drying cabinet to determine the water content. The other part is placed in the freezer together with the reserve sample. The low temperatures stop microbiological activity and thus decomposition. The material properties hence remain stable. The laboratory analysis of the waste will take place at a later date. After all practical work has been completed, work surfaces and equipment are cleaned and placed back in their designated locations.